In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to level your bed or officially tram your bed using a filler gauge. On today's Film of Friday. Film of Friday is brought to you every week by the generous donations of these Patreon supporters. My most popular video has over a million views, and all I do is show you how to level your bed on an Ender 3. I use a sticker to get started instead of a piece of paper, like a lot of people recommend. And also, I show you how to live adjust, and that's the key. As that first layer is going down, adjust the knobs to get that live adjust. I've done that for years. The idea is you would create a common offset with the paper, and then you would tune that out with the live adjust. The slicer, when it homed, would always assume it was at true zero, and then it would offset the first layer. So our live adjust would then compensate for any error. This method works great for compensating for hysteresis in the lead screw, or maybe a few missteps in the stepper motor, or even a warped bed, which was very common early on. But our printers are much better now, so we can be more precise. What's become really popular lately is to use a feeler gauge instead of the paper method and then Z-offset on your machine. And a lot of people have asked me how to do that on an Ender 3 V2. Well, the first thing I suggest you do is update your firmware on your Ender 3 V2. So let me show you how to do that. We're going to use firmware from the Gyre's GitHub page. I've showed this before. He's got various versions with fixes and additions. You can get the source code. But we're just going to use the default here, and there's two versions, a 4.22 and a 4.27. If you flip your machine over, you should be able to see through these little vents the board number. It should say version 4.2.2, or if it's been updated, a 4.2.7. So I'm going to download version 4.2.2 and install it on a machine. If you do decide to update the firmware on a 32-bit board for shutoff power, then copy his .bin file to an 8 gigabit or less SD card, format it to FAT32, and then just switch on power. And it'll automatically update, and you'll see the display go black for a while, and then it'll come up after about 30 seconds, and then you'll have updated the firmware. It's that easy. The feeler gauge I'm going to use is a 0.2 millimeters. It's actually 0 0.203. So we need to set the Z offset to match this. So we go into the prepare menu, go down to Z offset and Z offset, and then change this to 0 0.20. Now I'll scroll down to the bottom to the save option. I'll click save and that'll save our setting to the EEPROM menu. Then I'll go back. Now we want to preheat this thing so the bed and the nozzle are hot. So I'll click on PLA and we'll preheat it to those temperatures. We're heated up, so now we can take a brush and clean off the nozzle and get any filament off this thing so we have a nice clean nozzle. And then we want to adjust these knobs down to bring the bed away from the nozzle because we're going to adjust those back up. Now we go back to the prepare menu and scroll down to the manual leveling menu. It will home itself and then it's going to give us a menu so we can choose where to move next. So we're going to go to the bottom left, the first one, and then it's going to go right over the top of the screw. So now we can adjust the knob until that feeler gauge is just touching the nozzle. You can just feel it touching and then we're ready to move to the next one. The next one is the top left which is really the back corner and we do the same thing. Once you get a feel for it you'll know it's even easier than paper because it's smooth. So then we do the rear. This one was a little bit trickier to get to but I was able to adjust it and then final bottom right they call it which is to me the front right and then I got that adjusted. And then finally we can check the middle. And if your bed is warped, you may feel it a little bit tight or a little bit loose. Mine's just a little bit tight, but I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna run my bed level test print. It's the Chep bed level print. Same one I showed in my previous bed level video. It draws squares all the way around the bed. So this is without any live adjust or anything. It's laying down almost a perfect first layer here. It's sticking in all corners. So let's let this go all the way around and see how it looks. Right now, I'm really happy with the results, and I've been getting these same results when I try this method. So I won't bore you with this. Let's just fast forward here and see how it turns out. And here's the last couple squares. This one, I have one bad spot on the bed where the corner doesn't stick. I don't think that's the bed level. I think it's just a worn out spot in the bed. Now, if I pull this out and take a closer look, other than that one corner 
which didn't want to stick. Everything looks fine. In fact, it doesn't look squished down. Yet when I give it the rub test, it's holding just fine. So this is a more accurate bed level. Test that center where I felt the nozzle was still a little bit close because of the little bit of warp I've got. I'm going to print a CHEP cube and look at that first layer. And here's the results. It's not the best first layer. I can see it's a little bit close, so I'll have to adjust if I want to do it in the middle. But it didn't pop off. The CHEP cube finished. It's a 0.28, so it's pretty rough. Overall, though, it's working well. There you have it. That's how you can level your bed or tram your bed on an Ender 3 V2 using a feeler gauge. Now, if you don't even want to deal with this and you want to put an auto level system on it, I have a video that shows you how to do that. And you can get the firmware from the same website as we used here. I'll link to it at the end of this video. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos that are popping up. And if nothing else, click on that CHEP logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.